Hey, boo things, welcome back to my channel. I am excited today because I'm getting my DIY on. So you guys know I just moved into my apartment a few months ago and my wall here is still super blank. But y'all, I've been like looking everywhere, Amazon, Target, Home Goods, and in order to fully fill this space, I'm talking about them piece was a hundred plus dollars. Anybody got time for that order money? So I'm just gonna make my own artwork. <laughs> Crossing my fingers. I did get this. I cannot take all the credit. I did get this idea from another YouTuber. I will link her video down below. I'm not even gonna fake. This is not original idea. However, this is my first attempt. So I'm gonna cross my fingers that mine turns out as well as her. Here are all the pieces that you need in order to make this happen. I got this big canvas piece from Michaels and as you see it's a 36 by 48. I did not measure it so I just eyeballed it so hopefully it's big enough. <laughs> I just bought this shower curtain from Amazon and I will also put the link down below. And then I got the staple gun and I'm just going to use command strips because I don't want to put holes in the wall because I still live in an apartment. And an iron to iron out everything. So here is the shower curtain fully extended. It's like this mosaic tile and it is super, super cute. kind of looks a little wrinkly but that's just because it's on the carpet then you want to take your canvas and lay it face down and of course notice how I also have the shower curtain face down as well so I did forget that you do need scissors because you're definitely gonna have a lot of excess Doo -doo -doo -doo. But make sure you don't take off too much, okay? You can just cut it later, but you don't want to take off too much right away. So I only just cut a little bit. Yay! Just do a few staples. I wouldn't do a whole bunch. Make sure you pull it. Just a few staples. And don't worry about this excess because you're gonna cut it off later. Key thing is to really make sure you're pulling it tight, right? <laughs> definitely important that as you're stapling you're pulling so remember I said you're just gonna do a few staples in the beginning but when you go back you want to make sure that you're pulling the fabric taut so as you see this is how it's starting to look um, so yeah, so then you just do the same thing. You're just gonna staple this here and then I will give you a up close of how you staple the corners. On this side, I actually did cut a little bit too much too soon, but it's still the same concept. You're gonna cut the corners like you would, or you're gonna staple the corners and wrap the corners like you would a Christmas gift. And then you're just gonna staple it down. Again, don't forget that when you staple, you the key is to pull the fabric super taut. And if there are any areas that you feel needs to be stapled down more, absolutely feel free to go crazy. 
my life go crazy. As you see, I have trimmed all of the excess off. And voila, look guys, I have my artwork. I'm so proud of myself. And now let's, uh, let's put it up. Ta-da, look. Oh my goodness. Y'all, it looks like a legitimate piece of artwork. I had to have my friend come over and help me hang it because it was just way too big. But look, it is gorgeous. I love it. Now, of course, it now focuses on all this empty spot. So I'm definitely gonna fill this with some decorative pieces. And I still have to get like a plant or something like that for here. But guys, my living room is really coming along. I showed my Instagram fam, but I didn't show my YouTube fam. I bought this little Buddha and this plant. Yes, child, it is fake because mama and real plants don't mix. I still have to print out my first Mother's Day picture. <laughs> I'm so ghetto. Yes. And then I'm gonna get some artwork here, but so far, it's coming along. I'm so proud. I am so proud of myself. <laughs> I get my decorating on. Y'all, this was very simple. It was a little time consuming just because I had to make sure that everything was aligned and straightened, but it was super easy. Like on a scale of one to 10, it was like a two. And all the reason why it's not a one is because it took a little bit of time, but I'm so proud of myself. So, like I said, I will continue to add to the room and I will eventually show you guys this room fully decorated to my liking. But, I'm gonna keep showing you because I'm so proud of myself. Alright, boo thanks. Thank you. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you tried it and let me know was it easy for you if you guys have any other like decorating recommendations as you see the room is like a blue white gold color scheme until next time stay true stay blessed stay in love <laughs>